Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be covering how to import fonts into Vector Ink. And then once you have a font imported, we're going to go into the canvas, we're going to add text with that font. And then we're going to convert that font to a path. And then we're going to mask an image into that path. There are many things you can do with fonts and text in Vector Ink, and I'm going to show you how. So, to get started, let's first import a font into our account. Now, I am using vectorink.io, the web app. If you're using the Android app, you can still follow along in this tutorial. It'll all work the same, but I highly recommend that you get an account. That way, your fonts and all your assets can get stored in the cloud, and you can use them on any device. If you go to this web app on an iPhone or an iPad or an Android phone or an Android tablet, it will work the same work just as responsive just as smooth as the desktop so I highly recommend you get an account and utilize vectorink.io so I'm going to go into the fonts section and I'm going to tap import this is going to bring up my hard drive and I'm going to import the font that I would like now from here I'm going to go into the canvas I'm going to hit new document okay. use the default document preset and I'm going to add text now you'll notice that that font is already imported in my fonts list here, okay? And there is another import font button here, so I can import a font directly on the fly while I'm working. So I'm gonna, let's do that. I'm gonna hit import font. I'm gonna grab another font. Let's grab this one, and boom, there that is, okay? But I'm gonna use this one. I'm just gonna type, hello, vector, ink, and voila. Now I have my text. From here, I'm gonna open up the text panel. Now right now, this is text. This is not a path. I cannot edit this with any of the path tools. It won't work. It is strictly text, okay? But we can convert it to a path using text to path. And once you do that, you can export the SVG and you will have your text as an SVG file. If you try to export the SVG using just text, it's going to, and you import it into another software, it's going to come into the other software as plain text. It's not going to have the fonts on it. You want to, if you're going to export a project as an SVG with text, you're going to want to hit text to path and convert it to a path first. That way it looks the same way. Otherwise, you have to import the same font into the application, onto the hard, onto the hard drive of the device or another application, whatever. Wherever you're using, you have to make sure that font is in that other software, whether it be Adobe Illustrator, Canva, what have you, in order for it to appear the same. Okay? Just wanted to get that out of the way. So, now that, now that we're back here, I'm going to see in this, this text panel right here. To the right. You can change the font. You can... You can change the font, you can set the, the, the font size, you can change your content here, you can set the alignment, you can arc the text, and you can space the text. Okay. I'm going to space the text. You know what? I'm going to change the font out. I'm going to change the font out to something a little thicker because I want to mask it. Okay, I'm going to set the spacing, I'm going to hit text to path. Okay. So now this font is now a vector path that can be edited all right now now that I have my text it is no longer text it is now a path you see the text icon does not appear anymore when it is selected it is a straight-up vector path now at this point I want to show you how to mask an image inside of this text path so to do so I'm gonna head over to pexels.com and I want to grab one of these photos. Now, the quickest way to do this is to use the Vector Ink Chrome extension. I highly recommend you get this if you don't have it already. I'm going to activate the Vector Ink Chrome extension. And with it activated, you'll notice a little pink pin icon appear at the top right corner of every image on the internet. This allows you to do many things. For instance, and let me find a let me find an image. I'll choose oh this one. 
I can import this as an SVG. I don't recommend you importing any of these as an SVGs because these are photos. Okay, this will work great with icons. If you want to get an icon like off of find icon or whatever and drop it in the vector rate real quick, this is a great option. You can import the photo itself. You can grab the color palette from the photo and or you can import the photo in the vector rate and it'll take you straight into crop and resize mode. I just want to import the photo. Alright, so here we go. Now I have the photo. This photo is a little small for the text I'm using, but this will be quick demonstration. You know what? Let's grab another photo. Let's grab something else. A wide nature photo. Let's do this. This, this should work. This should work. Let's use this one. Boom. Voila. Okay, so this is better. I'm going to size it so that way it covers the text. We're going to highlight the photo in the text. I'm going to open up the object panel and I'm going to tap clip mask. And now I have an image inside of my text. And that's how you can utilize vector rank to do many amazing things with text and photos. And then from here, you can export your SVGs, drop it in your canvas, drop it into Adobe Illustrator or Inkscape or what have you if you want to do some extra editing or you can export the photo. Many things you can do with vector rank. I highly recommend you use it. If you haven't used it, I highly recommend you get an account at vectorink.io. If you have not, with that, I will say goodbye. Thanks for watching. See you next time.